we've now turned public figures, all public figures into politicians. Mm -hmm. And so everything is like a statement and mm -hmm. an example being set. And I just could not get that into my thick fucking skull until truly like the last year. And I still fuck up. But I, I really just thought I was joining in a conversation. Like I'm so desperate all the time to learn about people because I feel so abnormal and I really want to understand people. And I think if I can understand them, then maybe I can be more like them and then maybe I'll be more acceptable. And so I just want to, I just want to join in the conversation. Like I don't think my opinion's better than anyone else. Even when I came out swinging as like this big feminist and everyone was like, Jamila Jamil, the feminist hero that we need. Like people were hyperbolizing how amazing and extraordinary, like just this fucking pedestal. Right, but like, I nightmare. like the conclusion you came to with all that year, uh, years ago, and I don't know if you even still believe it, but the thing of like, I'm canceled or whatever, there's no, there is no such thing. You just go, oh, you didn't like it? All right, well, yeah. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not going to no, I'm not going to go away. I'm not going to disappear. But what I was saying about the whole like, you know, like me being like hyperbolized as how amazing I was. Even then, back from the beginning, I was like, no, 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 no. I left school at 16 like I'm a feminist in progress. I'm figuring it out. I'm just learning. I've always tried to avoid this idea that like I think that I am on this soapbox and you should listen to me. I'm just speaking my opinion. And I think the reason they're drawn to me is not because they think I'm always right, but I think it's because they think it's refreshing that I'm willing to just try publicly. I'm willing to show my workings out. I'm willing to make the mistake, get back up, try again. I'm not trying to impress or lead anything. I don't think that I have the right to tell anyone like what to do. There are things that I feel should happen or there are things that I think are unjust and inhumane. But I'm just speaking about it as one human being who believes this thing. And I think and it now, got publicized because you're good looking and they're divisive issues and it's fun to pile on. And we love a to bring look. a woman up. Yeah, we love to like, build a woman up because then the, the higher we build her up, the, the bigger the fucking drop. We always cyclically drag her down by her pubes and then like throw her in a gutter. Like it, the, the but pedestal about is just Pakistan. A, yeah. But, uh, fuck me, Neil. Like but the, <laughs> the, the pedestal is just a trap door to a big toilet of shit. And so, yeah, you know, I, and you, I knew you, that yes, going on you my were, way up. Yeah. Like, I knew you, that on I my way up. I remember you saying like, yeah, you were like, I watched these girls shirt or shrink from the negative attention, except for a few of them who would just go, no, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, man, I get into trouble all the time. And I, we are treated as women in particular as like, if you've done something wrong, you have to leave forever. You have to, you can't burden anyone else with your existence. We can't, you can't set a bad example for the others so that they know that they can also make mistakes. We have to fucking get rid, you need to get rid of yourself. A lot of the women who disappeared after they were canceled or globally, you know, like piled onto, they they actually canceled themselves most of the time. They, they, they opted out of all opportunities. Yeah. Not to say that they hadn't lost opportunities, but they just like disappeared from public yeah. life because we're taught that our only value is how likable or fuckable we are, how easy we make it for everyone else. So if you create a challenging situation for people and you're a woman, then how fucking dare you? Do you know how lucky you are to be in the room? And I just kind of was like, I don't know, man. Like in 2020, when I got really piled onto for every single fucking thing that I did or said, like it was just, it was coming. I'd had too many years of being like hailed as God to survive it and I was being dragged down. And I did have the thought of, well, I should probably leave. I should probably retire and go and do something else or retrain and- Coach check. Yeah, exactly. Oh, go and start up a video shop. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that'll do well in mm -hmm. this climate. Mm -hmm. um, but then I thought, well, what would a white guy do? And most of the white men that I know would go like, oh yeah, that was unfortunate. But you know what? I'll figure it out. I'll just keep going. I was like, why don't we all do that? But it also doesn't mean any. That's the other, well, totally. like, whether it's a white man or you, not, no, it's, my point none is, of is it that, means anything. But you don't learn that until you do it, right? Yeah. And the only people that I had examples of who would just keep going were white men. So I was like, well, why don't we all just try this? I'm just going to stick around and see what happens. Yes, people find me annoying or unlikable or flawed in some way. Fine. I'm just going to keep going and see what happens. This is going to become my own life experiment because fuck it, because that's been my entire philosophy through life. And in doing so, I realized people move on. They don't even remember what they were fucking they don't mad remember. at you for. Yeah, they have they no don't care. The work comes back and you just grow and you do better. And actually, it's amazing for some people in society to have an example of someone who does fuck up and then changes. We have so many perfect idols, especially women. 
like where they look perfect, not hair out of place, like they they don't they have the right opinion or no opinion, the perfect behavior, the perfect smile. And I think that was fucking toxic for me as a kid to see that because that's the standard I held myself up to. And I know these people in real life, they are far from perfect. So projecting this perfect image just upholds this like bullshit standard that makes young people feel like suffocated by that level of perfection. I would rather people know that I'm a fuck up and that like we're in this shit together. My podcast is me learning in real time and being publicly ignorant. I'm not proud of it, but why? I'm a I mean, proud again, of it. why not? <laughs> but the other thing with all the, the all of the things that you saw as like media things or whatever were nothing. Like they weren't and they to anyone that wasn't you. It was like. I just, they were all ignorable. They weren't, it wasn't like front page. It was just like, I don't no, know. Some of it was front page. Okay. Some of it was really crazy. And, and I did lose like work from doing so. And I did lose a lot of money from the, the, the choices that I made and the fights that I took on. And so it was very real, but it doesn't mean that I can't grow and change. Like something that just drives me fucking crazy about liberals now, like especially social media liberals, is this idea that like, what's the point of all your activism if you don't actually fundamentally believe that people can change? What are we doing here? Of course not. Why are they we bothering want, saying anything? They all want criminal justice reforms, but not socially. Yeah, yeah. They hate cops, but they behave like. They all cops. want criminal like, justice. So it's just like I've more and more distanced myself from that movement. I believe in all the same causes, but the way that they go about it horrifies me, and I own my own responsibility in the fact that I was complicit within pitchfork culture when I was younger. Like I five agree years with ago. that. That's the like, only part I, of any of this that I I hold my fucking hand up and just I go like I regret is like being scoldy. That's the only part of like the last 15 years that I regret. I regret just being like yeah. Nuh. I'm and it's, so it's I cringe so fucking I cringe gross. at myself like yeah, 5 years ago because just like it, who has ever learned anything? Who has ever grown from being shamed and maimed? It's it, I certainly haven't. I've learned from moments of grace and a bit of space to learn, right? And then I've grown and I've changed. I was a massive fucking misogynist like 10, 12 years ago. Massive misogynist. Really didn't like or respect women. And I've become who I am now, who is a very different person who fights passionately for the rights of women and who really cares. And it comes from really deep inside of me. It's like, I changed. And so we can all change. I have belief in change. I have like an immense amount of grace and mercy I would like to extend to other people that was extended to me once and I don't I I do not subscribe to the way that 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 social media liberals or liberals like you know uh, use this the way they weaponize moral perfection mm -hmm. it, it's just it I find it deeply disturbing and I'm just like the hypocrisy is too much to bear and what I was joining in on with my like little pitchfork or my little soapbox five years ago was was me thinking we were a part of trying to change what was bad. I had no idea what this was going to become, which was just like a constant self-sabotaging, self-mutilating, like witch hunt for each other. Like yes. no big systemic issues helped. N nothing about poor people. Nothing about no. like what's actually impacting the vast majority. Just fucking infighting and nitpicking yeah. and, and egomaniacal who like mirror mirror on the wall who's the like most I don't purest. know yeah who's the purest of them all so that has been like a huge shift for me and liberating myself from that has been <sighs> yeah it was a it was a it was it was too all much. performative and it was not nobody was mine wasn't performative I really thought we were trying to change something but I but but in retrospect but you're I not what changing any not you're not helpful. fucking changing no. anything no, it wasn't helpful. The way I spoke to people, like when men were really horrible and vile to me online, rather than ignore it or just challenge, like, hey, why are you speaking to a total stranger like yeah. this? I just call them an incel. It's a fucking horrible thing to say. Even yeah. if they're being horrible to me, it's a fucking horrible, like reductive, shitty thing to say to someone. You have no idea like what their life experience is like. I, I, I've just, the last four years has been so transformative for me to realize that like, none of us have a leg to stand on if we don't treat people with the humanity and grace that we wish to receive ourselves. If someone's telling you how to behave, check your wallet, 
or check your panties. I stand by it. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.